With more and more projects that will be uploading data to the repository, we need to increase the efficiency of the data upload process. We have developed a prototype tool called the Experiment Dashboard to enable rapid and secure upload of the data at the time of testing both at the experimental facilities and other labs. The tool can easily be used today in most laboratories. It uses open source data turbine and could be functional in most labs in a matter of hours. All other components run in the cloud. The Experiment Dashboard is designed to build on activities that accelerate the data curation process and also enhance the security of the data while giving the researchers the power to review, analyze, and approve the data. This tool supports the typical workflow of a researcher through automated ingestion of lab or field data to support curation at the source, a choice of three operational modes for lab use, triggered operation, or continuous mode, researcher control to review and approve the data prior to upload, and the possibility of integrating user-provided functions for real-time or post-test processing. Typically, the researcher acquires the data in the lab and then moves it to a personal computer for review and analysis. The experiment dashboard automates several of the intermediate steps, simplifying data upload and enabling timely processing of the data. This approach facilitates automated ingestion of the data while giving the researcher the power to review, analyze, and approve before upload. Let's demonstrate the experiment dashboard in action. Today we are performing a vibration test of a simple structure and are using both traditional accelerometer data as well as optical non-contact sensors to determine displacements through image processing. This powerful approach is being used today in just a few labs. When I'm ready to perform my experiments, I log into the community portal running in the cloud. Here I launch the experiment dashboard. Notice that the tool runs in the cloud directly with an Internet 2 connection. My interface is through a portal. The tool opens to the project management mode, and I can use the calendar to select today's date. The experiments scheduled for today are shown, and I can choose the experiment I wish to perform. Here I also have access to the drawings and sensor diagrams that I uploaded to the repository prior to the testing. On the right, I also have ready access to my to-do list and curation status bar. I select the experiment and trial I plan to perform. I may also wish to share this tool with project team members so that they can view or participate in the test. I will create a new repetition under this trial and the drawings and sensor layout information appear for this particular trial. Let's open the specimen drawings and the sensor layout. Here they are easily accessible during my test. Note that for easy confirmation, the folder that will house the data is indicated across the top bar. When we are ready to perform the test, I connect to the laboratory server. Three modes are available for triggered operation, continuous acquisition, and a typical laboratory mode. Today we are using lab mode. I enter the record mode and select the cameras and sensors I'd like to monitor and arrange the display as I would like to see it during the test. When the test begins, I hit Start Recording. During the test, I can remotely view real-time data from the experiment. All sensor data are now being acquired in the lab, transferred directly to the data repository, and written to a file in the temporary storage location. The high-speed connection from the lab to the data repository ensures the transmission is secure and fast. In this case, the images are also being processed with a user-provided image processing function for extracting target locations. The researcher can choose to apply any algorithm to the data, and a library of shared tools could be established. When the test is finished, I choose Stop Recording and execute the image processing code. Once all of the data is acquired and the process data is available, I can replay the experiment. Unprocessed data is typically preserved as is. I simply need to confirm that the test proceeded as planned. Processed and raw data are synchronized in playback mode. 
and the speed may also be selected. This is because certain experiments may take several days. In playback mode, I select the sensors I'd like to view, including the output channels corresponding to the process data. I hit Start Playback to replay the experiment. Once I feel comfortable that the test was performed properly, I can click the Approve button and the data is transferred to the data repository and placed in the unprocessed data folder. A report is generated confirming that the data is uploaded and a confirmation email is sent to the researcher. Here you can see that the data has properly been uploaded to the project warehouse. At any time in the future, I can log into the project warehouse and I or my team can play back the data and video using the experiment dashboard. The experiment dashboard is easy to set up in any laboratory and enables secure and rapid upload of the data. The tool is also designed to integrate a code for post-processing or even just for checking the data at the time of the experiment. A library of common tools could easily be developed and shared within the community. Furthermore, incentives are in place for the metadata to be uploaded in advance, which will yield a significant reduction in the curation timeline. And because this runs in the cloud and not on my PC, data storage and management is reliable. HubZero capabilities would also allow others on my team to participate during the test. The data is now uploaded and available to my team immediately after each test is performed.